have covered a lot of individuals on this channel that I would consider to be down bad simps. You're super pretty. <laughs> You're super short. But recently a man came forward to take the title as the most down bad of all time. Yes, Skippy, you somehow have been dethroned. And he's down astronomically not only because of the financial implications of his choices, which range up to nearly $100,000, it's also about him being a diabolical creep. It really all started when a woman named Ruby Rose dropped this tweet on the timeline, where she announced that she had met up with her number one fan from OF. I just know this room smelled crazy. For those of you who aren't aware, Ruby is a model and female artist, but the main way she makes money is the shekels these clowns on OF are shelling out to her every single month. And this guy just happens to be the worst case on this platform. In his bio, he claims to be some sort of crypto whale looking for a queen, which somehow makes things much worse. For one, this is a horrible place to find a queen. And for two, being a crypto bro or NFT guy is not something to brag about in 2023. If only they'd all gone together in that blinding room that day. Hmm. Regardless, at the time they met, he had already spent over $63,000. He spent 63 bands? 63,000 already? Yo, I can never. He not getting nothing in return. You giving her brag just to see pictures of her, bro? This might be the worst of the worst. Is trying to get her virtual attention. That's like a full scholarship at a decent college. You could afford a very nice car for that price. A huge down payment on a home. Like, these guys are worse than those men who do the mail order bride thing, or even the ones who talk to some dude behind a MacBook posing as a Russian woman. And the most hilarious part to me has to be the fact that he didn't even get to put his arm around her in the photo with his musty ass. 63,000 smackaroos, and I don't even get a handful? Oh no no. At the end of the day, no matter no, no, how no. much money these lunatics are spending to line these girls' pockets, there's no way they don't rue the day that they could eventually meet up with them in person. I got my phone here, let me just get it ready here. How's it going fam? I missed you guys. Oh my gosh, there's people really like this. This is sick. Imagine what you could do with all that money. 63000 I know I'm not spending it on them. You look great as always, Caitlin. Oh, thanks. Thank you so much. All right, thanks. You know what? If, if, you, if someone had told me that if I was, you and I would see each other in person twice this year, I would have said they were probably loony in the That's head. That's crazy. Uh, but I'm telling you, man, I guess it just worked out that way, you know? Yeah. All right, take care, Robbie. You had a great day, somewhere. Caitlin. All Thank right. you so much. Bye. Hi, can I have the hand sanitizer? <laughs> I would say it's fair to guess that he could be stalking her. His shirt even says, if I die, delete my browser history. Like, what the f*** is that? Seems like a good way to end up on a list with a black SUV parked outside of your house. And our suspicions of this man being crazy were confirmed by these alleged text messages he sent to her after they met up. She even has his number saved in her phone as Brian Weirdo F Fan. <laughs> Yo! He said, what are you doing tonight? <laughs> and he asks why she's not answering his- Ruby, why don't you answer me? I had invested so much money into our relationship. I am in love with you. Why won't you love me? Yo, this is some sicko shit. Crazy shit. Messages saying, why don't you love me like I love you after mm. investing so much money in this parasocial relationship? Like this dude is on some stand shit. He goes on to say that he wants to be her king, and that I would do anything for you. I would fly anywhere to be with you. All that I can ever think of is you. It would not seem like a push in this world is perfect as you. You could be my queen. I could be your king. I'll give you anything you ever wish for. We could even have a one-sided open ring relationship where you can do whatever you want. As long as I know that at the end of the day, you come home to me and only with me. I promise I'll treat you better than anyone really can ever do. <laughs> no way. Nah, he's he's a sociopath. Psychotic. He would give her anything she could ever ask for, even going as far as to say they could be in a one-sided, open relationship, 
as long as she sticks by his side when she comes home at night. I have never felt this way about anyone. I want to marry you. I want to have a family with you. I want to only be with you and would give up and quit everything just for you. Wow. Like little bro, she don't even know you. You are in a relationship with your phone screen, my boy. The text goes on to detail his fantasy life of spoiling her with his Bitcoin wallet, saying that she's all he can ever think of every waking moment of his sad existence. You are on my mind all day, every day, thinking of how you smelled in the hotel lobby when I first saw you. It's also suspicious to me how he ran into her in a hotel lobby where she was likely staying. Like, I really do wonder how long he was trying to track her down. And after sending her countless text messages with some of them being extremely aggressive, how dare you not answer me? I see you actively on your Instagram story and you have not answered me once. You are making me very <laughs> mad. I have treated you like a princess and you won't even take the time to respond to me. I will not tolerate this. Yeah, see, this is where shit gets scary. Why would she give her number to him? See, he look crazy, bro. Like, the phone number is about to be disconnected, buddy. And here is where he somehow takes this to an even worse level. Firstly, he continues to run up the OF bill in the midst of her ghosting him, spending an additional 30 k the day after they met. He writes her a very long poem saying that he wants to be her sissy boy who she bosses around, while he wears, and I quote, a sissy-made outfit. I have an obsession with you since the day I first saw you on Instagram. Ever since that day, I have made it my life mission to one day have a chance to see you. Every day, watching your stories, seeing your amazing life and vibrant glowing smile as you travel the world. He then claims he will send her $400,000 in Bitcoin for one single response, compares their love to a Disney fairy tale, says he told his family, Yo, what's going on? He said, I tweeted everything about me, the videos I had made. About her on Thanksgiving, and then in his grand finale sends her a tattoo he got of her face on the back of his right calf. Ain't and he got tatted? He got her tatted? Yo. Yo. No way old boy captioned this tattoo no. saying number one spender, talking about he was number one. Now, do you guys see why I say he is the most down bad individual of all time when it comes to this simp shit? Dude, spend some of that money you got on therapy. You got some serious shit to work out in your head. And don't think that he is the only one out there who is like this. This is merely one of the cogs in this massive, fucked up parasocial machine the internet has created. He just happens to be the creep with the big wallet. I mean, just look at the girl from the Dr. Phil show who recently revealed that she made hundreds of millions of dollars from that website the day she turned 18 years old. Some people really just need to get the hell off the internet and go outside, meet a real person, have a real connection, because if you're to the point where you are sending any of your money to someone who will never even truly care that you exist outside of taking you for a ride, you are living wrong. For these women, you really better watch out. You never know who is truly behind that other phone or computer screen funding your lifestyle. But I do wish the best for her. To be honest, I would have replied with my cash app to at least get that 400k in Bitcoin before Thanks. blocking this clown for good. Because she's definitely going to have to use some of that money to beef up her security. But y'all let me know what you guys think about all of this down below. I just personally cannot believe that people out there like this actually exist. Either way, it's been your boy Tan Superman, and some other down bad individuals out here need to be covered, so I'm out. Peace!